warm-blooded fish, it's another episode of Knowledgeica. Now for anyone who doesn't already know, fish are typically described as cold-blooded creatures, which means they get their heat from the environment. They literally have cold blood. However, there is one fish that bucks this trend. The Opa. The Opa is also known as the Moonfish, the Sunfish, the Kingfish, the Redfin Ocean Pan, the Jerusalem Hazzock, and by its Latin genus name, Lampreys. That's a lot of names, but it's still got nothing on American R&B artist Akon. Aliani, Damala, Buge, Time, Bongo, Peru, Naka, Lululu, Badara, Akon, Thiam. <sighs> I would hereby like to apologise to Mr. Akon for absolutely butchering the pronunciation of his name. Kind regards, Danny Ward. The discovery that the Opa happens to have warm blood is actually still fairly recent. It was discovered in 2015 by Wegner et al. in the peer reviewed journal Science. Nicholas Wegner and his team of fellow research colleagues found that the Opa species, Lampris guttatus, is able to generate heat as it swims from its muscles, which warms the heart and the brain organs. This ultimately provides an evolutionary adapted advantage for the fish as it can outcompete traditional cold blooded species. The warmer temperature allows for faster muscle contraction and so faster movement to acquire food and to avoid predators. Additionally, the increased temperature improves the eye resolution, helping to aid the fish's sight. Neurological brain transmissions are also sped up, helping to improve responsiveness, which is great in their deep water habitat, where you never quite know what may be lurking in the darkness. So it's a true more blooded animal like mammals or birds, not quite. The warm-blooded system that we have provides us with something known as homeothermy. Now, homeothermy allows our bodies to maintain a stable temperature internally, regardless of external environmental heat factors. The opafish, on the other hand, have to keep moving around to stay warm. While they do have an insulating layer of fat to help keep in some of the heat, Ultimately, they will reach a colder temperature if their movement is restricted and they are more susceptible to external temperature influences. So what else is unexpectedly warm-blooded? Well, that's certainly a larger question for another time. But for the most part, it still remains pretty unanswered. But what I can tell you is that the Opa is the only known fish which circulates heated blood. A little fun tidbit of insider information, apparently, Wegener actually discovered this all by accident. They happened to catch an opa on their research trip purely by chance, and being the good, curious scientists they are, they naturally did a dissection to learn more about it. What did they find? A rich entanglement of red and blue blood vessels. These were a big clue as to what this fish held, secret-wise. And like most scientific discoveries, it was all by accident. So will more warm-blooded fish be discovered in the near future? Maybe next time you happen to find yourself on a random academic research trip, for whatever reason, and you go for a spot of fishing, keep in mind that you might find something a little unexpected. I pack a thermometer just in case. This has been Knowledgeka. Stay hungry for factuality. <laughs>